Welcome to Talking Money with Nozi, personal finance made simple. Can you become a millionaire by investing 100 grand per month? The answer is yes. Today, I'm going to use a compound interest calculator to show you how to turn 100 rand into 1 million rand if your investments compound annually by 10%. First, let me explain what compounding is or what compound interest is. I'm going to use this picture to explain compound interest. Compound interest is the interest that you earn on your contributions plus any interest that you earned before. You only get compound interest when you reinvest your interest and when you don't withdraw your money. If you withdraw your money, compound interest stops working. So, if you invest 100 rand a month, it means that in one year, you would have invested 1,200 rand. Because 100 rand times 12 months is 1,200. And if you're earning 10% per year, in year one, which is what you see bottom left of the picture, in year one, 1,200 plus 10%, 10% 10 of 1,200 rand is 120. So your total balance at the end of the first year is 1,320. So you start year two with 1,320. Then you contribute another 1,200 rand, bringing up your total to 2,520. And 10% of that is 252 rand. So your total balance is 2,520 plus 252 rand which gives you a total of 2772 rand so you start year three with 2772 rand you contribute another 1200 and you get a total of 3972 rand again you earn 10 percent of this balance which is 397 rand and 20 cents. So 397 rand and 20 cents plus 3,972 rand gives you 4,369 rand and 20 cents. Then you start here four with a balance of 4,369 rand and 20 cents. Then you contribute 1,200 rand, which brings your total to 5,000. 569 rand and 20 cents and this cycle will continue for as long as you stay invested for as long as you stay contributing so how long will it actually take you to reach 1 million rand if you invest 100 rand a month compounding at 10 percent every year Okay, so this time I'm using a different compound interest calculator from the previous video it doesn't matter because I tested both and the calculations work the same for both. I like this one because there's a graph that I want to show you that is really cool. So here are the fields where it says um, initial investment. This is where we put in our initial investment. I'm going to assume we start with zero. This is if you've got no other investments anyway. If you do have any other investments, then obviously you'd put in the amount over here, but I'll just put zero. Monthly contributions, we are working with 100 rand. Monthly contribution, it says $100. It doesn't matter because the numbers are what matters, not the currency. Just pretend that it's rands. Length of time in years, I'm going to put 50 years. Again, this is not saying you're going to invest for 50 years. I just want to run the calculation for 50 years. It's easier. Estimated interest rate, I'm going to use 10%. Interest rate variance, I'm going to put zero. Um, compound frequency, I'm going to leave it like that. Most investments compound annually, meaning you're going to earn the interest once a year. Then we click on calculate and it's calculating for us. It says the results are in, in 50 years, you will have 1,396,690 rand 23 cents. So at which year do you actually reach 1 million? That's the question. So let's scroll right down 
where it says show table. Um, so every year, remember you are contributing 100 rand a month. So in one year, which is 12 months, you would have contributed 1,200 rand. So that's what you are seeing over here. And in year two, you would have contributed 2,400 rand. And the number on top, that one, that's 2,520. That's the balance because of the interest that you've earned. Okay, so that's what you're seeing. So there's two numbers there. The number at the bottom, it's your contributions. And the number at the top, it's the balance of your investments that have earned interest. So we keep going until we reach 1 million. Okay, there we go. So you reach 1 million rand after 47 years. Now there's something that I want you to see from the graph. So I'm going to scroll back up. Okay, so here we are back at our graph. So our graph has got two lines. One line is green. One line is red. I hope you can see that. So the red line is your investment value. And your green line is your contributions. Every year, you are investing the same amount of money. So every year, you are investing 1,200 rand. But your investments are compounding, meaning the interest is earned on previous interest and on previous contributions. That's what compounding means. So at the bottom of the graph, those are the number of years. And then on the left hand side, that's the value of your investments. In the beginning, so from year between year zero and year eight, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference between the two lines. So the red line and the green line are merged. They're together. But then something starts to happen after year eight. They start to move apart. And you can see that the green line kind of stays flat while the red line, it just grows and grows exponentially like that. Why is that? This is the power of compound interest at work. So if I click on year four, you'll see that your total contributions are 4,800 Rand. Remember you're contributing 1,200 Rand per year. So 1,200 times four is 4,800. But the balance of your investments, because they are earning interest, is 5,569 rand. Let's move to year 16. So in year 16, your total contributions are 19,200 rand. But the value of your investments is 43,000. 139 rand and 68 cents. So your total investment value now is double your total contributions. Why is that? It's because of compound interest. Let me just do the calculation for you so that you understand the power of what compound interest is. So I'm going to subtract. So 43,139.68 minus 19,200. It gives you an answer of 23,939 Rand and 68 cents. This money, this 23,000 is coming from interest. So what this means, I hope you understand what it means. In year 16, your contribution for the year was 1,200 Rand. But the interest that your money earns is now 23,939. Remember, it's interest that has been earned on previous interest and previous contributions. And at this point, your interest is bigger than your contribution. So your contribution is a dwarf at this moment. Look at year 36. In year 36, your total contributions are just 43,200 rand. But look at the value of your investments. The value of your investments would now be worth 358,952 rand and 17 cents. Again, let me run the calculation for you. 358,952 rand and 17 cents minus 43,200 gives you 315,000 
752 rand and 17 cents. That money is coming from interest. If you can understand this concept, you start to ask yourself, why haven't I been investing for so long? Why haven't I started investing? Why have I doubted what investing can do for me? If you grasp this concept, you get so excited, just like I am so excited. I wish the whole world could understand the power of compound interest. Look at year, our million is on year 47. There we go. By the end of year 47, your total contributions are just 56,400 rand. But look at the value of your investment. 1,046,369 rand and 82 cents. That's crazy. I'm doing the calculation for you again. So 1,046,369 rand 82 cents minus 56,400 rand. The difference is 989,969 rand and 82 cents. So you contributed this tiny portion of 56,400 over this 47 years. But interest did the heavy lifting for you and brought in 989,969 rand. So compound interest can take small amounts of money which are invested regularly over time, of course, and turn it into a massive, massive number at the end. And this is just 100 rand. Just think how our calculations would work if it was 200 rand. Or 300 rand, 500 rand, 1000 rand. Actually, I'm going to put the link in my description. You should come here, play around with how much you'd get if you put 200 rand per month, earning 10% per year. How much would you get if you invest 500 rand a month? Your mind would be blown away. Once you start investing, you regret procrastinating you actually regret like man i wish i started earlier because you get it and you realize there's nothing to fear and you've been wasting all this time not investing that's that's the biggest regret of most investors they say i wish i started sooner do you know why you can always get more money but you can't get more time compound interest can do wonders for your money only if you've got time so that's why Parents with little children should start investing for them immediately. When your children start working for themselves, they should just take over the investment and continue and increase their contributions. Your kids will be multimillionaires before the age of 40. That is the power and magic of time and compound interest. Given enough time, Compound interest can turn your 100 rand monthly contributions into 1 million rand. Again, in order for compound interest to work for you, you need to invest for a long time. Albert Einstein, the famous physicist, called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. He said that those who understand it, earn it, while those who don't understand it, pay it. I hope that I've helped you understand compound interest and how it works and you will start investing for your long-term goals immediately. You're probably now asking yourself what and where should I invest my money to earn this compound interest, right? Well, there are many ways to earn compound interest. My favorite way to earn compound interest is to buy low-cost local and global ETFs and to hold them for a very long time. Every month when I receive my salary, I just buy more of the same ETFs. And whenever I receive dividends from these ETFs, I reinvest those dividends. If you don't know what ETFs are, please watch this video over here to learn more about ETFs. Also, in my previous video, I showed you examples of two ETFs that have returned 10% on average in the past. So it is definitely possible to earn 10% or more in the stock market. Many people complain that 30 or 40 years is just too long to wait to be a millionaire. To solve that problem, it means you need to invest much more money every month. This might also mean that you have to increase your income and make some sacrifices 
to stop spending unnecessarily on luxuries and other unnecessary things and invest all your extra cash. Then you will reach millionaire status quite quickly. The choice in terms of how quickly or how slowly you want to become a millionaire is entirely yours. But the reason why I did this video is to encourage people who don't earn a lot of money and can only afford to invest small amounts of money every month. This is to show you that if you invest small amounts of money, you can reach millionaire status, even though it will take you longer than a person who invests much more money. That's it, guys. I hope you have realized that in order to reach your goals, you need to start investing now because time is a wasting. The more you delay, the more time it will take you to reach your target. If you want to get started with investing and you need guidance, I wrote ebooks to guide beginner investors just like you. The first ebook guides you step by step on how to register and open an investing account. The second ebook shows you and teaches you how to analyze and choose shares and ETFs to invest in. My contact details are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please also hit the subscribe button below to get a notification whenever I post a new video. I will see you next time. Bye guys.